talking about AI, I feel, I don't want to say mean, but over the last years when I've checked Reddit or um, other communities, sometimes, especially students, they think of MATLAB for AI as kind of like a joke because they don't see the capabilities in it. How do you personally um, see that? Because I mean, well, Python, okay, makes sense, PyTorch, TensorFlow, and all these other frameworks that exist. How, do we, how does an engineer, for example, take MATLAB and use it for his AI purposes, let's say? Yeah. How does the workflow look like? I have many opinions. Jan, do you want to go first? Because I'll talk forever. <laughs> so I think a bit of a definition is always interesting to kind of precise what we speak about when saying AI. Uh, there have been many waves of AI, and it depends what you want to talk about. If you want to speak about the latest and greatest and shiniest, now it's actually not Python anymore. It's, it's ChatGPT, so you know, like it's moving so fast. But uh, but you have also so many other techniques, like you used to have computer vision, and we have a very good support of computer vision. Honestly, like that's really good. Uh, you had machine learning, and I mean, our approach to machine learning um, just like regression, classification, basic stuff is really good. It's like really competitive to what even scikit-learn uh, yeah. provide in Python. Literal so, statisticians like work on it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, like I, if I had to, to choose it for, like I took courses on on scikit-learn and I quite like it. It's a beautiful design and all. Uh, it's French. I mean, it's coming from Inria. That's also coming up my heritage. Trishik. And, uh, oh, la la. Ooh, la, la. But, um, but I really like the, um, the apps that we provide because, I, I mean, I'm not going to remember everything about every detail of a, uh, yeah. a classification, a regression tree, whatever. Like, I, I, I cannot focus on that. So I like the apps that we have, the classification learners, regression learners, just click, 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 poof, trains a bunch and, of models. I don't need to know. And then there's just... just just enough information for you to know, right? Like, you know, so one of the things I kind of value, again, we have those mathematicians and statisticians that think about this all the time and argue all the time. Trust me, I could talk for hours about crazy arguments. Um, but, you know, we have these things where it's like it grays out the models that are not appropriate for your data. You know, if you have categoricals and the model doesn't work with that, well, that's just not even an option. You know, so it kind of, I, I feel like it really helps guide through and, you know, people talk about like black box or like opaque box, you know, models that is not okay for like MATLAB people, right? They, they like, mm. they're scientists, they're engineers, they're mathematicians, they're IT people, like they, they need to know something, right? So we, we kind of give them enough information as they're going along visualizations, you know, um, you know, ways to tweak the model and understand it that focus on interpretability, explainability, you know, because again, it's not just like, oh yeah, sorry, you got the wrong movie. It's like, sorry, yeah. you crashed the plane. 